Okay, we're back here um, with the hexacopter project after uh, we finished the ramp and I worked on my bike a little bit and I did the horn and I did all kind of other stuff. But anyway, um, right now, as you can see, I got the power board hooked up, uh, solder stuff in there. And um, also, as you can see, there's no, no wires outside of the frame. Uh, that's because we've taken uh, these wires all the same color um, as the motors and run them through inside the frame as you can see right here shows you that everything is inside the frame now what I did is that even if you can see in between here um, the cables go right into the power board um, and then uh, the power board also has each one of the speed controllers for each one of the motors right, right in there right, right under here anyways I label them that way I I would be able to know which one goes to which motor just in case they were not um, it was a little challenging putting the stuff together because it's so tight, um, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, I mean, the, the speed controllers are 30 amps, and I think they'll be they'll be okay handling the motors. Um, again, now I have another thing to finish, and I'm going to be using these um, bullet connectors. Actually, put it right in my hand. Uh, they're gold plated and they're uh, for uh, RC projects and everything. I picked them up at the uh, at the uh, RC store. Now each one of these, what's going to happen is that it's going to go to match each one of these right here. Um, this connector has cost me about 30 bucks. They're quite expensive, considering anyway they go like that and. Um, when I solder them, they're gonna go like that. What I'm gonna do is that after I finish each one of them, I'm gonna put the shrink tubing around them so it's gonna end up more or less like uh, the other side. So everything is gonna be complete. Now, uh, as far as the other side goes, I'm not gonna use these connectors because like I said, they're a bit expensive. Um, anyway, I'm I don't know how this is going to play out, so I need to be able to take it apart if I have to. So I went to Home Depot and bought these. These were like $2 per bag. I bought four bags. It cost me 8 bucks, And uh, it's more or less putting a short in there. So what I need to do is strip this and, uh, and put one on each. Um, I, don't think, I, don't think I, I don't think it really makes a difference which one goes on which, but I'm going to try to keep them all the same around that way they do the same thing hopefully um, if not I'm gonna have to look online to see how these things need to be plugged in I, I mean they're all black so I'm thinking that it doesn't really matter where you put the you know the color cables uh, but I'm gonna put them all in the same place anyway um, I got the other rest of the stuff um, I got my battery it's, uh, right there and this battery um, it's 4,000 milliamp hours it's you know pretty pretty strong pretty powerful battery but what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put one of these um, terminal strips that way I can add another one just in case it needs more power but I don't know if I'm gonna need this but I'm gonna add it anyway um, if you use um, 12 gauge or 14 gauge wire like this one should be I would say safe um, and you can see it there I actually have a fuse on one and I may actually remove the fuse um, because I'm thinking that the fuse in midair being burned up may impose an actual issue and this thing would can just crash into someone or even myself or my son so you know, I, I'm debating whether I should have a fuse or not. Um, it's 
so but I don't know I need to read a little bit on that uh, anyway this is as far as we've gotten on this thing and uh, I got other pieces that go that need to be added like the controller that's gonna go right up here and um, the autopilot so what I'm thinking is that I still have you, know, you would think that I don't have enough things to add to this thing but I got the receiver I got the autopilot I got the controller board I still have the LEDs uh, for a round and uh, the power switch right here um, so you know I still have quite a bit to go um, I'm gonna try to get some of the soldering out of the way today that way next weekend I shoot another video and go from there okay I guess until until then and uh, I mean I can't wait to get this thing going I got a couple of weeks and should be done with it so uh, until the next time